Hi Taurus, welcome to your love reading for March 2020. This will be for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Venus and Rising. These will be general messages, so it may not resonate with everyone. If it doesn't, feel free to check your other placements to see what comes up for you. What's going on with Taurus? Oh yeah, the sign with the most likes is getting a bonus reading for March so like your sign the strongest sign that you want you know the sign that the sign that resonates the most for you like that one because then you can get a bonus reading okay so what's going on with Taurus Taurus messages for March Taurus love messages. We have give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. Healing family issues. So I'm seeing that there's some issues that need to be healed in your relationship. You might be working on that during March. Which is good. We have free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. We have keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. For some of you, you could be needing to work on a relationship with your parents as it does say or a family member as it is like healing family issues with healing family issues your love life benefits as you forgive your parents so maybe that's like a karma thing i don't know maybe but we have free yourself so it could be that working on your partnership with your person kind of you know helps you to get back control maybe having things being so not so great is making you feel kind of stuck so you need to like work on the connection so you could free yourself some of you if you're single you could have someone who isn't your usual type but could work out for you could be a soulmate for you they could be coming towards you in march if i just see give your relationship a chance like i'm seeing that there needs to be like forgiveness working on some type of relationship let's see what we have yeah messages for taurus telepathy nonverbal communication energetic pulses mind reading still connected with your person on a telepathic level on a spiritual level so kind of feeling your person's energy we have sisterhood friendship allies compatible souls loyalty joy delight I'm seeing family and friends come in for some of you. I don't know why. So see what's going on with your relationships with family and friends. But this is supposed to be mainly your love relationship. But that's coming through. We have experiment, manipulation of nature, forcing change, cruelty in the pursuit of knowledge, arrogance. So there could be someone in the picture here who is a little manipulative or controlling. Let's see, let's get into the spread, see exactly what's going on here. What's going on with Taurus? Love messages for Taurus for March. What can Taurus expect during the month, the month of March? What can Taurus expect in March? you're like gonna be quite happy in March I can see that some of you could be dealing with an Aries but I can see a person is trying to either gain control of themselves their emotions or there is some like controlling manipulative 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 type of behavior going on so it could be a virgo but this person is seeing you as the hermit so some of you may have freed yourself from someone kind of distance yourself from someone and keep in mind that for some reason family and friends are coming through so it could be that 
you know, type of relationship for some of you. But I am trying to focus on the love, you know, partner relationship. So I am seeing that you're going to be quite happy and excited. Some of you are definitely feeling fulfilled with someone who is in your life during March. Um, but for some reason, the way you guys are seeing each other, it's like you're seeing them as kind of rejecting an offer. And they're seeing you as in hermit mode. So this could be a situation between you and an ex or someone that you're separated from. Someone that you're freeing yourself from. But then there is this work on your relationship card. Where maybe you guys are in separation and need to work on the relationship. But I see that this person is like keeping themselves busy. We have the eight of pentacles here. But this could mean that they are open to working on the relationship. So I don't know if it's them who wants to work on it and you're kind of staying focused on you or have someone new in your life. But I'm seeing that we have the six of cups. <clears throat> so I'm seeing that this part that sorry, you are thinking about the past. This is a card about the past. So maybe you have been thinking about the situation. What's blocking is a Ten of Cups. I feel like this person has an issue with emotion. Like they want to stay kind of like they want to hide their emotions. They, they don't want to be vulnerable. Okay, so that could be an issue. They kind of would like to just sweep it under the rug or bottle things up. All right. But let me start clarifying because I need more answers here. <laughs> Why is the Emperor here? This could be Aries, as I said. You have the High Priestess. The Empress. Wow. And the Page of Cups. It's a lot of feminine energy behind this very masculine emperor. All right, so I see that this person is like, like their feelings are growing. Okay, their feelings are very deep and spiritual. I do see that connection with the, tele the telepathy card and the high priestess this being a very spiritual connection. But they kind of cover it up with this kind of tough person attitude. Like they probably act like they're not even into spirituality or believe in that stuff or you know and then we got this page of cups so the emotions are quite there but with the emperor here it's like totally covered up in control you know not trying to be vulnerable type of thing why is the eight eight of pentacles here this person's working towards abundance. They are trying to achieve their goals, financial goals. They're trying to be independent. Yep. Wheel of Fortune. They're trying to they're trying to get financially stable. They're trying to make a lot of money here. Okay. This could be someone who works in a car industry or with cars or with some kind of transportation or something like that with a chariot. But it could be a cancer that you're dealing with. With a chariot card. You could be trying to buy a car. But I just see that they're, they're really focused on their career and success. So it's kind of, you know, it's kind of a mixed situation in March for them. There's their career that they focus on and then there's the feelings that they're hiding. So it's a little bit conflicting for you when this person just seems like they're not caring. Why is the nine of cups here? Three of cups, two of cups. Some of you are definitely in love with this person. That is three, two, one. <laughs> three, two, one. Wow. 
You have a lot of love for this person, big time. You feel like this is your soulmate. You're definitely wanting to work on your partnership with them. But I feel like they just, they just seem quite standoffish, quite busy, quite focused on their work. You know, I don't know if this is someone new who comes towards you during a separation with this person or if this is or if these are your feelings towards this person but they do seem quite you do seem quite happy and in love and bubbly about this about some situation there is a lot of emotion going on with you why is the six of cups here queen of cups some of you could be could have kids with them or be pregnant have kids on the way we do have the have kids on the way have a baby on the way maybe it's twins i don't know but we have um the empress and the queen of cups and the six of cups and also the page of cups with the empress this definitely does speak of pregnancy a baby coming but you know I see that that could be what you're happy about. It's like a celebration of a baby coming for some of you. I know not everybody's pregnant, but this person could be working extra hard as well because of this to make more money to support, you know. But if, if not, if you're not pregnant, then I just see even like a lot of emotion towards this person. You de like there's so much feelings, cups here. All of this is cups. All of your side is cups, except for this temperance card, which it also has cups. And there's also water in the card, which means emotion and balance and harmony. There just seems to be a lot of love. I do feel like a baby for some of you when there's this much joy in cups. Even if your person is like distant, you would still be happy about a baby, you know? Because that's what babies do, <laughs> make you happy. But anyways, enough about the baby. Not everyone's having one right now. Could be dealing with a, separ uh, a separation. Could be dealing with a Sagittarius. Could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Aries, Virgo. But I just see you being very emotional. But it just seems like in a very happy way in March. Like this... Some of you just have a baby due in March or something like that. There's just happiness regardless of anything and it's a lot of love. So, I don't know. And especially if you're single, you might meet that person that this card is talking about. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectation. Like maybe that person comes into your life and you finally feel it, you know. Finally feel that happiness. So why is this four of cups here? It would be a Scorpio. We have death. This person seems to have a lot of pride or they're, ve or they're very focused on working towards their success. But you may be feeling like they've changed in a way. Why is the hermit here? And the devil could be a Capricorn. And the moon. Wow, this is like very deep. So for some of you, this person may feel like you kind of distance yourself from them. I don't know if you freed yourself from them and you found someone new. Or if you freed yourself and they now want to work on the relationship. But they're seeing you as kind of walking away and kind of a mystery right now. Like they don't know what's going on. That's why the moon is here. It could be a Pisces. But this is, you know, with the devil, it's like they, I feel like they definitely have feelings for you that are growing and that especially if there's separation they're falling for you even more but 
they just seem focused on Korea, their work. Why is the hanged man here? Could be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Definitely see you really not, not really taking any action towards them. I see you taking back your power in a way. So I do feel like it's them who wants to work on the relationship and that you've freed yourself. So some of you have met maybe a new soulmate and have freed yourself, but you know, I feel like forgiveness is a thing here that will help. So forgiving the past. Forgiven the past to be able to move on. But let me see what else is going on here. Let's see what else is going on with this person's feelings. How's this person feeling towards Taurus? Ace of Pentacles, King of Wands again, Justice, it does seem like they want to make things right here, but, but some of you may have freed yourself, they're seeing you as this strong person, you know, some of you, this person seeing you as seeing you as done with them, you know, you've gotten the strength to leave them, to move on. So this could be someone who you had like a comic situation going on with in the past, where you finally left, you know, you finally freed yourself and maybe even moved on. Why is Where's the family issues here? Where's family issues here? There is a lingering energy, like if there's separation or you freed yourself from this person, there is that lingering energy, that unfinished business. Could be dealing with a Gemini. But it's like up in the air, you know, it's something that needs to be addressed because someone's holding on to it. Someone's definitely holding on to the past because there's been no forgiveness or closure. The Empress again. There's been no movement. for some of you, but it could be a Libra that you're dealing with. I just feel like this person wants something. They want something, but they don't want to reveal their feelings. They don't want to stop what they have going on with work or whatever they have going on in their life, but they want to work on the relationship. Like, it's kind of weird. We have the hermit again. I feel like they keep their, their emotions bottled up and very like hidden. So let me see what we have here. Messages for Taurus. The answers you need are coming. Okay. You and your loved ones are safe. I know there's something to do with like family as well. Full moon in Cancer, full moon in Gemini, new moon in Scorpio, with new moon in Cancer. So we have work through your fears. I feel like that's for this person and their fears of showing the true feelings 
the answers you need are coming though so it's like maybe they attempt to work on the situation and open up about how they feel we also have emotions are running high i feel i i, I feel like someone's pregnant because i feel those hormonal those hormonal types of emotions i was gonna say monthly cycle in the beginning and now i realize because remember it's the same type of hormones when you're pregnant so that's but i can i, I gotta stop talking about that because not everyone's pregnant but um this person that their emotions they don't want to show it so it's like and I feel like some of you have freed yourself from that type of situation, like just given up on them because of them hiding all of this. But this is what they feel. There's a 10 of cups, so there's an overflow of emotion here, but then there's emotional confusion with the seven of cups. And there's also pain and sadness with the three of swords. And this is all covered up by the emperor who is who does not like show emotion he's a leader so male or female they don't like to be vulnerable all right but you guys are still connected so it's like there needs to be a conversation or something to keep to get this either over and done with or to move forward together What's going on with Taurus in March? Perfect timing. Improving health. You see, that's that's showing me that hospital sign, okay? Some of you are due in March. But we have meditation brings answers. If you believe, maybe you can get answers through meditation. I just feel like this person yes they bottle up their feelings and they also hide not hide sorry they also focus on work and business and all that like they have their focus in other places With the magician here in meditation brings answers. I see that you can manifest your, your desired outcome here. But it could be for some of you a family issue where your family is kind of involved in your relationship. Because the Ten of Cups does keep coming out. But... I see, I see that you're happy in March, to be honest. So it could have been some of you who walked away and will soon meet or have already met someone new or will be open to giving this relationship a chance with this person. But I see with the hanged man that you're kind of just seeing what happens, you know, and seeing things differently as well, having a new perspective on things. Maybe you've gone through a spiritual journey and it's kind of making you see things differently maybe see the bigger picture but i just feel like you are very free in march and finding happiness kind of unbothered in a way but i feel like this person is the one who is kind of struggling to show emotion and want, wants to work on it but struggles to show emotion also struggles to make time for the relationship Okay, so basically that is what I'm seeing for you in March. It's like work on your health and in perfect timing things will work out, okay? The answers you need are coming in perfect timing. It's like right underneath this card. Improving health is right underneath you and your fam you and your loved ones are safe, so Health-wise, everything is good in March. When it comes to your fears, if you are the one with fears, which I do feel like it's them, but if it is you as well, meditation can help. Okay, so 
this is what I have for you Taurus check your other placements if the messages didn't quite resonate or if you'd like to know what else has come in leave a like if you enjoyed remember that the reading with the most likes gets the bonus reading for March um, subscribe if you're new to the channel and thank you so much for watching.